Mike Salk out, Damon Hewitt in the last couple of days, and a little husky conversation. We don't do a ton of that on our show, or at least we haven't over the last few years. Steve Sarkeesian tells us today, Damon, that his expectation level is championship football. You call the games for this team, you work on campus, a lot closer to it than I am. Is that a realistic goal and expectation? Absolutely, it has to be your goal and your expectation every year. You expect to win, you expect to win championships with the history, the tradition that this program has. Every day you go out there, you see, you're reminded uh, of the history of the Rose Bowls, of the, the, national, the players that have played in the National Football League. And then I think when, when you're going the next season and, and you look all of a sudden at, at how these recruiting classes have gone, being ranked in the top 15 in America, you know, your lifeline, college football's lifeline is recruiting. So mm -hmm. they've certainly picked that up in a big way. You look at the new stadium, okay, you got seven home games next year. So, so many incredible things to look forward to, so much excitement. And, and I believe uh, a missed pitching wedge kick in the Apple Cup and then a poor kickoff away from being nine, nine and four last season and a nine win football team with all those injuries, probably the best job coach could have ever done. I would year. say a junior and senior laden team is going to have that. It's yes. going to be year five. You're going to have the new stadium. You're going to have seven home games. I don't think there's any excuses. I don't think there's any explanations. The two questions would be, is there enough talent in place against a Stanford and an Oregon and a, even an Oregon State? Is there enough talent in place? And then as I asked you on the air, do they believe? I mean, the one great thing about pride and tradition and history is when you're there and you're around it, it is, it is real to you. When we played there in the 90s, it wasn't long ago. We knew it. We understood it. It's been a long time since they've been to Rose Bowls and won championships. Do they believe they can take that step? Well, I think they do, and they absolutely should. I mean, you saw them beat a Stanford last year, you know, at home, who was a Rose Bowl winning team. You know, Oregon, certainly, they, they've had their tough time against them, and that's, that's the other program here in the Northwest that uh, has been a big challenge, but uh, you know, with our new facilities there that now that we have on campus, you know, you'd like to think these 17 and 18-year-old kids, you know, would, would go to a university because of the academic program, because of the the football team, because of the city that you're going to play in. But so many times they're drawn to the uniforms, the the plasma TVs in their locker room, all those things. Well, the University of Washington now is going to be able to compete with Oregon because of these facilities. And uh, again, back to recruiting, it's starting to shape up. Do these kids believe they can win? I I think so. You know, Keith Price certainly, he, uh, you know, outstaged RG3, uh, you know, the Heisman Trophy winner, the next greatest quarterback in the NFL just, uh, you know, a short year and a half ago on one of the biggest stages in America in a bowl game. So we know that talent level is there at the quarterback position. It's a matter of that offensive line gelling, coming together, seven kids coming back next season who have started six games or more. Hopefully some of those guys that got injured come back. I think they do believe they can win. They were that close to being nine and four. They've beaten good football teams. Last year, only losing one home game at the clink. You know, probably could have beat USC with a, without a turnover or two there in the red zone. So they're a lot closer than most people think, and I'm fired up for the Huskies in 2013. No excuses and no explanations. Go dogs.